Welcome back to Wayne's Motor Co. Today, we're gonna build a chopper in one video. Stick around. Hey guys, before we make it too far into this video, I just wanted to say this month, June, is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Mental health in men is a very important thing to talk about because many times as men, we try to stuff things down and think that we gotta pressure through. Um, I went through a lot of struggles with this in my life when I was dealing with my brain tumor and seizures and even times in this shop working on deadlines and clients and trying to come up with content like this for you guys. So this month, I wanna challenge everyone to go ahead and reach out to somebody, whether they're a friend, a father, a son, a brother, and reach out and just say, hey, how you doing, man? And take that opportunity to do that. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to take a mental health day here at Weems Motor Co. Something that bothers me a lot and gets in my mind is that I have so many of these projects, just like the video we watched last week, where we're gonna be selecting at the end of this video which motorcycle is going to be the next project here. Now, people were kind of a little wondering, like, is it a, you know, are we voting or how does that work? Um, no, I'm essentially just gonna go in and randomly select a person. The person who I randomly select, not only do they win that hat, they also get the motorcycle that they choose or chose built next here at Weems Motor Co. So it's completely random guys. If you hadn't done that, pause this video, jump back and do that. We're going to be selecting that at the end of this video. But in the meantime, for my own mental health, I have so many projects, so many things, so much stuff laying around. And I just thought, hey, what a cool video would be is to just take all of these extra parts that I have laying around and build a motorcycle. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a timer and we're gonna figure out how long it's gonna take for me to assemble a chopper. Now, this isn't gonna be a running motorcycle. It's not going to be something I can jump on and ride. However, it's gonna have all of those essential components, the frame, the front end, the wheels, the engine, the gearbox, the tank, the fender, all of those things. And we're gonna do it all right here in one video. Most of the time you guys don't get to see that. In one video, we're going to assemble a chopper. So let's see how long it takes. All right guys, so what you see on these videos doesn't even scratch the surface of all of the projects, all of the things that I have laying around, things that I have in storage, and I'm tired of tripping over these things. So I said, you know, let's throw this thing together so that we can roll it around and move it. And we're gonna be starting with this. This, my friends, is a 1953 Triumph factory original rigid frame. Now, it's been modified a little bit. Somebody extended the back section to lower it down and lengthen it out. There's also just a little bit removed out of the backbone to rake that front. And, you know, this isn't uh, a bike that I'm wanting to restore or anything. And I just thought, you know, how cool would it be to have a nice little beat around, dirty, grindy, little bobber or little chopper so that's what we're starting with 53 triumph frame all right guys so here's what else i did dug through my stash all those things that i have stuck back in corners and bins and things and came up with the front end for the pre-unit all the stuff right there including these super sweet fork cover shrouds those are awesome found an engine for the project this 1957 Triumph TR6 engine along with a factory rigid transmission and dug a few other little goodies out of the bin. We found gas tank, some exhaust, some engine brackets, uh, oil tank, primary cover, things like that, pretty easy. Also was able to dig out a rear wheel, nice. Factory Triumph rigid 16 inch kind of clean pretty nice for the project and pretty much the last thing to get that thing into a roller would be that 21 inch front wheel with the spool hub on it so got all the pieces and parts all together now we're gonna check the clock and we're gonna begin putting this bike together all right step one to get this bike going is not only starting a stopwatch but 
getting this thing into a rolling chassis. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna talk through this. I'm gonna set the camera up, let it sit still, get the bike all together, get that front end, get the engine, all that stuff in, and then we'll stop that stopwatch. Maybe we'll stop periodically in the middle to check our time, but let's see how long it takes us to get this bike together, to get my mind straight for the Men's Mental Health Month. Let's do it. Hey Siri, start a stopwatch. And we begin. All right, so ran into a little bit of a hiccup. Had to change out the top triple tree because it was a different model and the forks were not gonna line up. So doing that, getting ready to throw this front end together, let's uh, find out where we are at. Hey Siri, show me my stopwatch. We are at one hour and five minutes. Not too bad with a little bit of a hiccup, but I think we're gonna make up some ground right now. Let's knock it out. So not bad, got the front end on there. Next step is getting the front wheel on there. But before we do that, let's see where we're at. Hey Siri, show me my stopwatch. We are currently at one hour and 25 minutes, not too bad. Now the next part's gonna take a little bit extra work. I have an old axle, but it's not gonna work with the size of bearings that are in this wheel. So we're gonna have to make some spacers, make a sleeve, so we can get this front wheel centered and on that front end. Let's keep going. in a rolling chassis it's time to really wrap this thing up let's get the engine in there gearbox in there tank seat fender let's just wrap this up it's been entirely too long hey Siri show me my stopwatch four hours and five minutes let's see if we can get it done quick let's do it <laughs> There you have it folks one triumph chopper put together and just hey siri how much time is left on my stopwatch four hours and 55 minutes just under five hours and man i tell you what my mental health is a lot better not having all of these pieces scattered everywhere tripping over them ah it's nice to have something thrown together that looks as cool as that. That's cool, right? Awesome. Well, before we run inside and we figure out who is going to win that hat and which motorcycle will be the next motorcycle built here at Weems Motor Co., a couple quick statistics, guys. It's said that 75% of all suicides in the United States are men. And on average, one man commits suicide every 20 minutes. You do not have to suffer in silence. Reach out to somebody. Ask a brother, a friend, a son, a dad, a father, 
ask them how they're doing, check in on them, make sure that their mental health is doing good. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out if you need help. All right, let's go do it. Let's go figure out who wins this hat and which motorcycle we're gonna build. All right guys, so here it is. This is where we pick the winner of that hat and we figure out which motorcycle is the next one we build right here. Kind of nervous, super excited about it. Got a random name generator from all of the comments. Man, 215 comments from you guys. 215 of you want to see me build a motorcycle. So let's see which one it's gonna be. Folks, Mr. Luke Saldana is the winner of it, and he says the JAP because that engine looks so cool. We couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Luke, and uh, I guess that's it, guys. I guess we need to get to work on the JAP. Um, yeah, next video. Let's see what happens with it. With that, guys, we're gonna wrap it up today, so thank you for hanging out. If you are new around here, jump down and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that thumbs up, yeah! turn those notifications on to let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.